Hello, what's up everybody? This is B-Boy Tech. I'm back with another video. Today is a different type of video. Today we are going to be talking about an application called Automate, which if you guys don't know what that is, that is an application that you can use to automate different apps. So automation is where you basically write a program that or a script or a flow or if you used frep before you write that so then that way it does it for you the phone does it by itself some people that do this phone farming community does automation some do not some believe it is what is killing phone farming some do not i am on the fence it depends on multiple different variables with ad providers of course too so you know we don't know what actually kills them some people could say automation is but then i say look at cash magnet and someday i'll be talking about the difference between automation and cash magnet but today is not that day so today here we got the automate app right here now if we go in and click on open I also want to say, you know, Phone Farmers Unite, uh, you know, multiple different YouTubers. If we unite together, it's better than saying separate apart and try not to start stuff between other YouTubers. Uh, that did happen to me pretty recently. I'm not going to mention any names of who did it, but if you are who did it, you know who I'm talking about. So that did happen and i'm sorry for the other one that is the one that he tried to start something with between me and this other one i'm sorry about that but you know some people just like to lie and i mean what can you do with that uh, over here you can see some of my computers actually and stuff making money in the background over behind me so you know nice little thing so what we're going to do is we're going to go in and jump into the Automate app. You can see right here, they give you a couple flows to start with. Um, I don't really use these ones. Real quick way, if you want to go in and clean up, you can go in and click on the flow. Click on those three dots and click on delete and then delete again. And then you should see that flow deletes. We're going to go in and do that for all these. Just one second. We're going to go in and do it to that one. And do it to that one as well, too. Now, to create a flow, you're going to go in and press this plus sign down there. And you can go in and bring that up. It doesn't really matter. But this is the flow beginning. That means this is the start of the flow. Uh, you can see the title name is untitled. You can go in and change that name if you want to. Well, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as this because this is just going to be a flow to show you guys how you guys can use Automate to maybe help you guys and to better do stuff. Another ad, good application to have if you're going to do the whole automation thing is current activity. You will see that every time you go to another application, it will change and shows you what is currently on your screen of the phone. Now, this is an emulator here, so this isn't actually a real phone. This is just a virtual phone that I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Automate. Now, if you click on the plus, you can see you have a lot of different actions. The main ones that people use, if you want to, I'll go ahead and do this, is App Start, which is under Start. You can see there's a lot of other ones. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Package means the name of the applications. So if you wanted to say open the, let's go ahead and go down a bit. Settings application. You're going to go ahead and press that. Go here, connect it up. And that's if that's all you wanted it to do, you go ahead and press that go and it opens it up. Now... We're going to take it a step further, and we wanted to go in and try to click that apps once we do that. 
So if we're going to go back into our flow, back into here, the main thing that we're going to use is called interact. We're going to go in and click on that. Click on this. Press record. It's going to ask you to give permissions. So then that way it can do this. We're going to go in and press that button. We're going to go in and go into the settings app. And we wanted to hit that apps down there. So we go in and do that. We're going to go in and see if it recorded the apps part. Hmm. And looking at it, it did not. So what else could we do? Well, we can go in and test to see if we tell it. Sometimes, too, if you give it a keyword, you can tell it to open that. And I think that's how they have the apps thing. We're going to go, and go back over there. Yep. We're going to press save. We're going to try to tell it to do that. And you can see, every time I go back, it's going to loop itself back in to go in and go back into that apps area. So another thing we can go in and see, we're going to go in and go back to stop it. If we remove this here, it's going to remove all that's connected. We're going to connect it back up. We're going to go in and grab another one of these. So you can go in and press and hold, tap and hold, and then click on this copy here, and it copies the block. We're going to paste a new one down there by just tapping and holding on the open space. So now we're going to try to record an action. We're going to see if it can't open, say, browser. Uh, I don't think it's going to be able to. Nope, doesn't look like it. So it looks like we might have to do the same thing here. I know there is some sections where you're able to do stuff like that, and some that you are not in apps. Another way to do it is the interaction touch, which you need 7 up of Android or a rooted phone if below to be able to give a XYZ, XY coordinates of the click to go in and have it click on that. Now we're going to go in and say that we wanted to click on the browser. So we're going to go back over here, go in and type it in. Oh, there we go. And if it fails, we're going to go in and loop it back in on itself. And we can see here that it went ahead and open back up to here now let's say if we didn't want to do we just wanted to have it press that for stop i know that it can go in and click that so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stop that again remove those lines we're going to go in and paste this here again since we already had it copied, we're going to go and record an action. We're going to press that for stop, press OK, go back into here. We can see the OK. See how that says OK? That was the last thing we clicked on. So we go back to here, we see for stop. So then we can go in and copy a new one of those because we need two steps in this. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing and tell it OK. Now, another thing we can do is if this fails, we go back to that area until it's able to do that. And if this fails, we're going to go ahead and loop it into itself. If not, then it's going to go all the way back to the beginning and probably not do anything again. 
So we're going to go ahead and press start. Um, probably help if I had the browser open to show this. Oh, yep. Right now, since the home screen says browser, it's doing its thing where it doesn't like that. So what we're going to do is come here, click on that automate, go back into here, and we're going to do... We're not going to loop it if it's done. So there we go, it stopped it. And now if we go and go back into automate, you can see it's not running. If it's running, it's gonna show that plus one every time it's running. So you can see, it's looping because it can't press that four stop. So we're going to go back into here and see how we see that plus one, which means it's looping back and forth or it's running an action. So that's going to be our quick little thing of automate. Also, another thing as well, too, I'm going to keep saying this. Phone farmers unite. We need to stick together if we have YouTube channels. You know, mine is, you know... If the one wants to message me to, you know, say anything as well, too, why he did it. Otherwise, you know, don't know. But he knows who he is, you know, if he's watching my videos at the moment. But, you know, just happened just recently. I'm recording this new episode. Probably going to be out the same day. So, I would like to say thank you guys for watching. Stay safe out there, and peace out.